In this video, I'll show you how to use a test cross. A test cross is a method you can use to determine the genotype of an organism that has a dominant phenotype. Let's use a classic Mendelian example in pea plants. The gene that confers pea color has two alleles. The dominant allele yields a yellow pea phenotype, while the recessive allele is associated with a green pea phenotype. As such, a plant producing pods with yellow peas can either have the homozygous dominant genotype or the heterozygous genotype, while a plant producing pods with green peas must have the homozygous recessive genotype. So let's say you come across a plant that is producing yellow peas. How do you know what its genotype is? This is where a test cross comes in. In a test cross, you cross an organism with a dominant phenotype to an organism with a recessive phenotype. The resulting offspring will tell you everything you need to know about the genotype of the parent with the dominant phenotype. In this case, we are unsure if this yellow pea parent is homozygous dominant or heterozygous. If the plant is homozygous and we cross it to a green pea plant, then all of the offspring will be heterozygous and therefore have yellow peas. In this case, we know that every offspring must have one dominant allele, and that dominant allele must have come from this parent. If this parent can only give dominant alleles to its offspring, it must be homozygous dominant. If the plant is heterozygous, and we cross it to a green pea plant that is homozygous recessive, then half of the offspring will be yellow and half will be green. The fact that this cross can produce green offspring means that the parent must be passing on the recessive allele to its offspring and therefore must be heterozygous. Its genotype contains a dominant allele, which makes it have yellow peas, and a recessive allele, which allows it to have green offspring in this cross. It is these two different outcomes that allow you to determine the yellow pea parent genotype. So, in a test cross, if the cross yields 100% offspring with the dominant phenotype, then you know that the parent is homozygous dominant, as it only passes on dominant alleles to its offspring. All of these offspring must be heterozygous. If the test cross yields 50% dominant and 50% recessive phenotypes within the offspring, then you know that the parent was heterozygous, passing on its dominant allele 50% of the time and its recessive allele 50% of the time. That's all you need to know about a test cross. If you'd like to dig deeper, check out my videos on test crosses with multiple genes and dihybrid crosses.